found anywhere I can sit on the dash and point straight at me now. Yet. Just having a bit of breakfast. 188 kilometers from uh, one's destination. Some porridge and a cup of tea. Um, the roads in Portugal, in the way, and seem to be told now, and they used to be. And um, you're supposed to link a card to your um, registration number. I tried three cards and it wouldn't take any of them, so. I'm currently um, on the run from the law. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you don't want me to watch me eat this. Goodbye. Portugal is a very hilly country, look, you can see the plane down there, especially coming out, because you're sort of running all the way down to the sea from uh, Spain. Uh, but the hills are massive. So with any luck, we'll get a heavy load going out. That'd be nice. Oh dear. He looks like he's in a bit of a pickle. Mm, he is. Um, yeah, nice heavy load going out. Tramp up the hills. top tip for you if you go abroad a lot go on Vodafone Vodafone do uh, for three pounds a day you can bring your your home plan abroad so I can drive along now listening to uh, six music on my phone Isn't that good um, yeah so you just you can use your phone like you're at home which is actually reduced my bills mammothly mammothly that's not the word massively good morning Sean Keith here well, that was easy. It's this gigantic place here is my first drop. Splendid. Do, 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 do. All right, you better go and concentrate on what I'm doing. So she's on the bay on her first ever delivery. Yay! She's lifted up because um, on my first trip to Portugal, I found out the bays in Portugal are actually often really low. And Jerry Adams, and Grain Adams, trailers are often quite high. She certainly needs a wash, I know that much. So I'm going to try and get a wash today. I've got to get out of there and look at her more often because I was in uh, uh, just at the recess security now, just checking, um, checking in type thing, and um, I just looked back at her and thought, oh my god, she's amazing. <laughs> Yay. And I've just remembered why I like used to like doing Portugal. Look, look, hang on, maybe it's the, the bloody infestations come abroad. Um, everybody's so polite. The security man called me Mr. Vernon and showed me exactly where to go and started talking to me about football. Um, well, I'm a massive football fan, but I can hold a conversation. So, and they're banging these off fairly rapidly, so good times. I knew this place sounded familiar. Over there across the road there, you can see a truck wash. That's, uh, I went there on my first ever foreign trip with Virginia to Portugal. Well, that was my first trip, foreign trip to Portugal. I'm gonna get out of here now, turn it right. Um, so I'm gonna go over there now for a truck wash. Back then it was just for the trailer though. dogs. They're a nice pair of dogs. They look well looked after. That brown one's rather fat. Oh, anyway, it looked at me then. I'm not fat. How dare you? They're quite nice, aren't they? Oh. Right, that truck wash may, as I put it, have cost an eye-watering amount of money, but it took two, and for the last 15 minutes, three men, uh, 50 minutes to wash it. And the trailer looks like, almost looks like it's just rolled out the factory. <laughs> oh, 
my god. I've never seen it so clean. Look at that. Now that's impressive. I think that 42 euros might have been 42 euros well spent. Look at that. Jesus Christ. It's absolutely spotless. Well, that's good. I'm a happy chappy now. Look at those wheels. <laughs> I've always wanted alloy wheels. But she looks amazing. Don't you? You look amazing. Job. That was great, thanks. Oh, good. Just catching up with the archers. Now. Are you uh, coming in for a drink? Do, 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 no, do, 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 I need to get do, home. Do, do, do. See the kids. Yeah. The dad said he's coming down later, though, so I might drop in. Just on the way to third drop. The second one was a bit of a pain in the ass to find, but I got there in the end. Uh, 29 k's to go. Back to the archers. I haven't had time to go to. Um, a supermarket yet, so I'm running low on food, so I'm slumming it. What a coke. A large sandwich. A large pack of crisps. Is uh, four euros ninety-five. Which um, seems quite cheap to me. Oh yes, there's a top tip. If you're in Portugal, the toll tickets are only valid for twelve hours. Um, I got caught out with that first time I came to Portugal. So if you want to park on the services and have 11 hours off, come off at the exit before you park up and then go off at the exit once you start again and you should be alright. Uh, I think the charges are ridiculous. Uh, uh, I can't remember how much they were now, but anyway. Right, so I'm going to eat my sandwich and then go to my third delivery. Onward! Well, I um, uh, got here and they only tip until one o'clock. Oh, hello. Um... Thankfully, they... Because I've got long directions. I think I'm loading in the middle of nowhere. And you know what? It's flowers. And they're not going to be heavy flowers, are they? Uh, yeah, they tipped me anyway, because I only had one small pallet. Right. Reload's only 12 kilometres away. So that's easy enough, isn't it? I'm going to go and head there, I do believe. You're right up there, Bertie. No, get me down. I haven't seen any of Portugal yet. It's right, you can go and sit on the beach while I'm loading. Um, well, this is going to be fun. The, it's not the place over there, it's a uh, place further south. But uh, I haven't got an address, I've just got directions in a text message which involve um, a dirt track road. If it's raining in the morning and I've got to go up a dirt track road, I'm going to go effing ballistic. That is all. So here we are in Lisbon going over um, some sort of Golden Gate Bridge. Look alike. I'm sure somebody will now tell me this is older. Actually, they don't even look that similar. Don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Just about 200 k's to destination. I need to find a supermarket. I haven't got any food yet. You can always cobble something together, I suppose, but I would like some meat, you know. I don't have enough meat. I've only got a bit of bacon and a sausage. Actually, I could have just sausage and bacon and egg and mash. Might do that, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Come on, move along. Right, these lanes are quite narrow, but that is quite a view from here. Down into the docks there, across this impressive bridge. The other bridge going out from Lisbon is miles long. I wonder if you can see it from here. No, I went across it once. It's quite a scenic run, this, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. Seems to be some sort of Jesus standing on a bit of concrete over there. Ah, uh, Ponte de 25 de April. And then we are out to sea. The Atlantic. Next stop, the continent of America. North or south. I don't know where you'd hit if you went straight across from here. I will look at a map later and maybe get back to you, although you can do that yourself. But you wouldn't want to come off this bridge, would you? Jesus. 
going to concentrate now because these, the these lanes are rather narrow. And if I hit this truck on its maiden voyage, I will absolutely probably just jump off this bridge. Right. Right, it's uh, Thursday morning. I'm just about to go up and load. You wouldn't believe. I thought I'll head down towards the, um, the customer I'm loading at in the morning. Don't want to go all the way because it was dark and there's no address, just directions which involve a dirt track and I thought I don't really want to start looking for it in the dark. I might not be good part. Oh my god. The road down here, I ended up going through this village. I'll film a bit of it on the way back. It's the right way because it's the directions they give me so I didn't have any worries. I had to make everybody reverse off a bridge so I could get across it. <laughs> it was quite funny. It wasn't at the time though. Um, and now I'm perched in this labour because I just had to stop somewhere. It really, I don't know. If you look over there, you can't. You won't be able to see it because uh, why won't it focus? Come on. Um, right over there is the sea. Um, because I heard all this lighthouse. Was... Bertie's on the dash, having a look, aren't you, Bertie? Yes. I haven't seen the lovely any of Portugal because of you. I've never been here before. Well, I'm sorry, Bertie, but I haven't got a table for you yet. Put me in the passenger seat then. Well, you still won't be able to see it down there. I don't care. I can see the sky. I miss the sky. <laughs> don't start making me unpopular now, Bertie, by crying. You bugger. I'll cook you sausages. Okay, then. Right, I'm just going to make a cup of tea and then uh, head on down. It's um, ten to eight. Bert is now strapped into the passenger seat, aren't you, Bertie? This is cutting into my neck. Take it off. No, because you'll fall over otherwise, and it's illegal. You can't have Lego heads sitting in passenger seats without any seatbelt on. Oh, I can't win, can I? Talk to Moomin. Hello, I'm Moomin. Like my Lady Michelle sticker. It's not straight, though. Oh. <laughs> That's really... It was the last one left, and I thought, stick that on there. And I took the... St and it's like... Oh, no, no, I don't want to take it off because it still looks nice if you look at it quickly. <laughs> now, this is where it starts to get fun. Hey! Oh, there's a tractor coming. I'll drive this down this road for two kilometres and then a dirt track will appear. This looks a bit like a dirt track to me, but there we are. I think I want to go up there. He'll come out there. As was mentioned before, Come on in, go. Almighty. Well, that's a sharp right, and this is a dirt track going straight on, so that's gonna um, do the trick. Oh, it's a bit muddy. I don't like it. Oh look, an exceedingly muddy patch. Absolutely bloody marvellous. Watch me crawl through this at ridiculously so slow speed. Good God. That bridge is barely wide enough. It's not even a bridge. Fuck, I don't like this at all. This can't be right, surely. What if it fell in there? Okay, well it seems I went past the one, the pack house that I wanted, although uh, the directions told me to go past the said pack house, so um, I can't really be blamed for that. On the plus side, it means that I have to go over that little rickety bit, fully loaded, which I was um, slightly concerned about, sliding into a field. Although I've still got to get back over it now, for the size of this bridge. I swear to God. This is doing my head in. When I got Holly, it was that worst winter ever, and I remember driving her down this uh, Belgian motorway um, with freezing rain, and uh, it did my head in as well, because I was thinking, no, it's near, 
I can't crush it. Um, although a year later I did anyway, but um, now I'm having the same thing with this. God's sake. Now my wheels are absolutely plastered in mud. I didn't even need to come through this bit, they wouldn't be plastered. Ah! Anyway, not to worry. Communication issue is somewhere along the line. One of those things. Um, I was just planning a route and the sat-nav just said to me, Warning! Your, um, departure is on an unpaved road. And I was thinking, yes, I bloody know it is! <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, thanks for a good video. We are 2,175 kilometres from Calais. There's a chance we won't be shipping Calais anyway, but I don't know if you'll be able to see that. We're right down the bottom. Uh, come back. Pretty much right down the bottom of Portugal. By the sea. By the sea. I would show you on a map. But uh, and people are now going to go uh, mad. <laughs> but I don't actually have a map. In my lorry, I don't have a single paper map. Because it's all on there. I don't get this whole, you must have a map, you must have a map. You can just look at it on there. You don't need a map. Um, or my iPad. So, uh, yeah, I don't have a map. Right. I'm loading quite rapidly, so hopefully it will be on our way soon. Happy days. See that? I'm loaded with 7.8 tonnes. So I'm slightly heavier than I on the way down, but eventually I'm going to get to pull a heavy load with this lorry. <laughs> oh well, such is life. I'm gonna make my way now. I had a panicky moment then, the suspension wouldn't go down. I thought, no, don't go back down already! But it needs the air up for the suspension to go down as well as up, so that's uh, something the scanner will just go down and whatever. Right, carry on! All the way down in southern Portugal, and I'm now being held up by a British camper van. Get out of my way! I've got flowers to deliver! I wouldn't be going much faster anyway, this road isn't exactly uh, great, and I'm be cautious. Lovely day. Absolutely splendid. Wish me luck, I'm going to go shopping in an Aldi. I need food! In some Portuguese village. Onward! A uh, little top tip for you. Seems Aldi's in Portugal don't take um, um, foreign bank cards, so I had to go find a cash machine in this tiny, tiny little place. It's tiny. It's not that tiny. It's bigger than the village I've come from. Anyway, <coughs> I'm now going back to pay for my shopping. Well, you can see the lorry over there. And, um, go on my merry way. Happy days. I should carry more cash sometimes, shouldn't I? I just don't carry cash. I never have. Um, Certainly not in the UK. I use my car for everything. Because if you carry cash, you spend cash. You know? So I paid 42 euros for a wash. 18 euros is pretty much gone now because I just buy a can of here, Red Bull here, or something there. So I'll walk across there, shall I? Right. As you were. I've got my shopping here. just going to come around this corner. A bit of speed up. There they go, down in their little trundle bus. <laughs> That's quite funny. Come on, dear, go to the back. I've got a feeling I don't speak like that. There's my foods. Right, let's sort this out and get on my way. Well, this, my friends, is a town called Odemira that we're coming into now. Um, watch this. This was, this was bad enough. This was probably be bad enough in the daytime. Um, yeah, I came through it in the night last night. It was a pain in the proverbial. Oh, my sat has gone.
because the bridge that everybody kept driving at me yesterday and I had to make them reverse off. You watch people will drive at me now. Uh, go on around the corner and straight onto the bridge. That's it. Don't look. Don't look. No, no. Keep coming. That's it. Keep going. You're going to keep moving, aren't you? You're going to keep going forwards, even though there's probably not enough space. You could have just reversed off a minute ago. Oh, these people. And now there's a coach. Fuck it. We're approaching Stobart levels of tension here. <laughs> Have to go straight up that road and reverse back down again, I think. Da, 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 da. Uh, 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 uh. No, maybe I'll get around him. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll go up there. 